Sarah's sick again. Oh, I'm just kidding. Hey. She's right here. So after getting this is our channel, after getting about what three hours of sleep, yeah. after getting roughly three hours of sleep, because I got home at three in the morning, we had a little problem with our puppy, and Eve got sick at like four in the morning, and I had to get up to go to work at six in the morning, and now it's six p.m. and I'm a little mm -hmm. sleepy, but we are back home. This is what we'll be tonight. Food and wine. Food, food and wine. wine. Everybody, Everybody loves food, food and wine. wine. And I think, <laughs> I think we thought we were doing really well with food and wine, and we have been. But we were. We were the first two weeks of food and wine when we came here every single day. I don't think we've done food and wine in like two or three weeks. It's only got like five weeks left or six no, weeks left, and we have we have just under left. half the half food and wine to eat still. So let's go. I'm actually gonna figure out how many, like, how many days we have to come to like not visit ten booths in one day. We're doing ten booths today, though. Here we are, back of food and wine. Four dollars and seventy-five cents gives you this zucchini ravioli. All right. What do you think? I really like it. Peter doesn't like it. He said I can have the rest. Yeah, well, it's it's not that I don't like it. It's that I just prefer, I prefer like my zucchini and green beans without red sauce. I like those separate. Oh, that's how I cook our green beans because that's the only way I eat them. I know. Oh my gosh, guys. Looks like rain might be coming in, but we already got a second item right here. It's a quesito. It's like a little puff pastry. It was three seventy-five with tax from the islands of the Caribbean, which I don't think was here before. But it could have been. I wasn't here last year. But it's a puff pastry with guava sauce on it. So let's see how this bad boy is. I'm ready for some sweets. All right, so our lives were just changed. I think that might be our favorite meat option here. I think America is still. But I'm a sucker for pesto. Yeah. This Chelsea, really you got good. you got it on that. What'd you think? Oh, it's really good. So it was the beef skewer with Did pesto. You have I didn't yet, but it's a beef skewer from Panagodia. It was five seventy five with tax. So good. With the pesto, the meat just like melted in your yeah. mouth. I want a whole steak like this. Let's go let's go buy six of them each. Okay. <laughs> So, we're in Epcot, and while we're at the German Pavilion, and I forget, I always forget how beautiful this pavilion is at night. Like, it's all lit up, it's a little, got a little cold. It is just gorgeous. But I wanted to let everybody know that we're with Chelsea and Cole. You saw Chelsea a couple of seconds ago. But we're with each of their parents, so or each of their moms. Their moms are down here visiting, and uh, it was the first time they met, so we're just kind of enjoying a little bit of food and wine with them. But I wanted to show you a little secret because there's this quick service in the back of the German Pavilion. And you can get a bratwurst, frankenfurter, and then noodle gratin, which is the baked mac and cheese with cheese custard, $4.49. It is so good. People always forget that this is here. So it's usually not that busy. And right now we're like prime dinner time. And this is, this is how long the line is. And it's a quick service. And they're Johnny on the spot. So, you ever in, in Epcot in Germany? A little hungry, need a little bratwurst, need a little a block of mac and cheese baked. Less than 10, 10 bucks for both those items together. Back there. This right here is the famous beer garden. This is the, t the full service table service in the back of the German pavilion, which is buffet style. We actually came here for Thanksgiving dinner in 2011. Very good. They've got this. They've got the band that comes out and ticky tacky ticky tacky. Oi, oi, oi. Very good. But to be honest, I shouldn't even be here right now. I don't even know how I got in here. But I was walking around and I just had to show you. So I gotta go find everybody else with. I'm not sure what the deal is. It might be my lack of sleep, getting about two to three hours last night. 
or the fact that like we went to Magic Kingdom until like midnight two days ago. I was at four nights until three in the morning yesterday and now we're at Epcot. But I'm so thirsty. And if you didn't know, the best place in Epcot to get water from someplace, not Sarah's UK place, is the pastries and coffee bar at Morocco. See, they're big cups and they're iced and filtered. She stole all the words out of my mouth. Look at that right there. This is the Belgium waffle with half fudge and whipped cream. How excited are you? I'm so excited. Havesy, havesy. Havesy, havesy. You just have half and then pass it off because we're not coordinated enough to walk and eat and share. It's really easy to cut. Ooh, it was fresh because they were like making them, making them made to order. Cast member Maddie checked me out. She's in our college program. She's at Electric Umbrella as her home, her home place to work, which is where I worked in 2011. But she worked there for like three weeks and then got deployed here for food and wine, which I hope that happened to me, but it didn't, but I still had a good time. I had no idea how many times I watched Illuminations or been to Epcot. I worked in this park. I had no idea that this giant little this giant thing between um, France and UK is down here just to like watch illumination and it's it's right up on oh right up on the water. I have a feeling this is one of these things where it's like open for dessert, the dessert uh, illumination parties a lot or special catered events and stuff like that. But so cool if you are walking around and you need a place to sit for illuminations. Um, and the crowds aren't too bad or you, can, you are willing to sit down a little early um, It's nice because it's not super crowded down there people aren't walking by brushing by trying to get their food trying to get their wine trying to get their their kid caught on So I wanted to get a shot of these I'm like this is the bridge from France to UK right by International Gateway um, but look at these, these are like the, the fireworks cru cruises that you can book and you can see the balloons over there and over here like for birthdays but you can book those pontoons and you come out here and don't have to worry about a spot and you're actually on the water. Let me know in the comments down below if you've done it. I'm kind of skeptical because they don't get any closer than this. So it's like cool to have your own area and I believe it's a really good shot from like looking at this angle it's kind of very straightforward to the show, but I just feel like I might like like in front of Japan or UK or where we were last week by Norway. I think I might like those spots just as much or the same or just as much or more than doing that. I don't know if you get like desserts or food or anything else with it, but I'd still love to give it a try one of these days. Don't know the pricing or availability or anything, but one of those things we'll do one of these days. We hope you enjoy our story tonight. Reflections of Earth. It looks like we're at Halloween Horror Nights again. Look at all the smoke. It's like the way the wind is coming, all the firework smoke is is coming out this way. Classic Florida. We went into Walgreens for literally three minutes. We step out, 
the entire city is covered in water because it rained in the three minutes. It's been doing that all day, just like random spurts. But I have not been caught in it once. But we forgot to celebrate Friday the 13th, even though I did last night at Hollywood Horror Nights, like in it. So we're at Target because we need to get some Mountain Dew Pitch Black because that's like... That's like our go-to like Halloween, October seasonal drink. So we got we some... completely didn't get until today, so yes. it's the perfect thing about. And Walgreens didn't have it, and so we picked up some ice cream because why not? And then we have some spooky candy at home and we're going to get some Pitch Black. I think this one. We failed the target. They don't have it. But we got Scary Berry Ghoul Aid by Kool Aid. Hey, take what we can get. Exactly. I guess they might have it at Walmart, so it's just for another day. Or Amazon Prime. Or Amazon Prime. We're home for the night. I think we might try to watch It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Because I'm real tired because I got no sleep. And we haven't told you what we're doing tomorrow yet. And it's kind of like another surprise, but you're not gonna know until tomorrow, so sorry. But we wanted to show you our, our what are they called? Scary Berry. Scary Berry. Friday the 13th beverage. <laughs> Kool Aid Jammer. Scary Berry Kool Aid Jammers. Crack it open. Give it a, give it a try. I'm assuming it's berry flavored. And I'm assuming it's scary flavored. It's good. Tastes like every little kid in the entire world would love it. Yeah. And we also got, let's, let me show you this. This is where the, the real goods are. Cookies and cream. And this is the one I think we mentioned before in a vlog a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. The cookie butter ice cream. Now, if that doesn't make it feel like it's fall, I don't know what will. Well, we're in trouble. Why? Because I don't know how we could this... I mean, it's been going on for like over almost nine years now, but... We stayed up too late again. And I already was going on like three hours of sleep, and she's fighting this cough, so she needs to get sleep. But <laughs> it's past 12, and we're getting up early, but we're not telling you why. Because it's a secret. But... If you watch our Instagram story, I'm sure you'll get a sneak peek. Yes. I will say, it's not going to be at Disney again. But don't, don't be, don't be worried. Our hearts are true. They're in Disney World. Yeah. But we want to try everything that Orlando has to offer. Mm-hmm. And with that. It's good to be home. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.